Hi guys, this is Vishant Kuchar and today we are going to talk about what gluten sensitivity, wheat allergy and gluten intolerance are. See, if you were thinking that this is a fitness channel, why am I talking about diseases on the channel and uh, I, what does this has to do with muscle gain, fat loss and uh, fitness, health of an individual. So, a layman doesn't have... Uh, these diseases so why are you talking about diseases specifically talk about health and fitness um, or how we can improve health and fitness don't talk about diseases if you're thinking that when see uh, I have taken this topic because it has strong relation to the degradation of uh, health of individuals nowadays uh, you would come to know uh, in the next uh, few videos and I uh, suggest that you watch the previous two or three videos also uh, on gluten and celiac disease uh, because I am telling uh, s uh, small small things in every single video ok so what gluten intolerance is so basically gluten intolerance is when you cannot tolerate gluten ok your, when your body cannot tolerate gluten when it faces problems when it is given gluten now uh, celiac disease gluten sensitivity and wheat allergy all of them are uh, problems uh, or maybe you can call them diseases uh, and they all combined are called uh, are taken under the umbrella of gluten intolerance uh, because in all of them you cannot tolerate gluten so all of them combined can be taken under the umbrella of gluten intolerance there are some new diseases that uh, have come up uh, for, uh, where gluten creates problems for the body but I am covering just the main thing over here we are not going to be become main doctors just for the sake of your knowledge and these things are required for your fitness in today's time that is why I am talking about these so I have talked about what celiac disease in my previous videos now comes uh, what comes is gluten sensitivity see uh, in celiac disease uh, you face uh, really uh, the person who has celiac disease faces really uh, harsh problems uh, even if uh, the person eats really small amount of gluten in gluten sensitivity the person does not have such a severe disease like celiac but still person is gluten sensitive if you give gluten to that per person that person's body is going to uh, face problems so not as severe as celiac but still facing problems with gluten that is what gluten sensitivity uh, sensitivity can be thought of. Third one is wheat allergy. Uh, when you eat wheat, uh, your body faces problems. When you go in a farm where uh, you have a wheat crop, uh, just by exposing yourself to such a place, you can uh, have the wheat allergy. Uh, you can have an allergy uh, because of the wheat. Uh, in wheat sen sensitivity, the symptoms are somewhat similar to that of uh, celiac disease you have the bloating uh, abdominal pain diarrhea fatigue and many other uh, issues can be faced by an individual sensitive to gluten in wheat allergy i told you uh, what wheat allergies so one in a thousand people has found to be wheat, having wheat allergy one in one thousand while uh, 2 to 6 or more than 6 people out of 100 have found have been found to have uh, gluten sensitivity they are sensitive to gluten if you give them gluten they are going to, uh, going to face problems uh, basically out of 100 people 2 or more than uh, approximately 2 or more than 2 people up to 6 or more than 6 people it goes but this data, I see I did not find any data for uh, of exact uh, numbers for um, wheat allergy and gluten sensitivity for India. These data are for other countries, uh, not for specifically for India, this data. Uh, so the gluten related disorders, the uh, gluten related problems can be lesser in India uh, because uh, we and our ancestors have been eating gluten for a long time and one of the reasons you develop gluten related problems is that you stop eating gluten so if our ancestors have been eating gluten and we have been eating, uh, eating gluten 
for long periods of time continuously then uh, there are less chances that we are going to be getting the problems uh, related to gluten uh, see gluten related diseases are still under uh, research uh, we do not have uh, really solid data about everything related to de- uh, these de- diseases but uh, as i told you uh, it has been uh, uh, estimated by science that if you, if you stop eating gluten then you might catch some of those diseases um, so basically don't stop eating if you do not have any problems uh, related to gluten and how would you know uh, that you have a problem how would you diagnose it specifically i will talk about it in my next video so basically if you stop eating uh, chapati the wheat chapati the roti then basically uh, and you do that for years then basically you might not be able to digest if you start eating it after years so basically what you see so you stop eating it uh, maybe you uh, st- uh, lose the power of digesting it maybe you can imagine it that way now this these diseases gluten related diseases are uh, rising in numbers so a lot of patients uh, uh, are being diagnosed with these diseases so uh, let's say we try to find out the reason behind this so maybe because people themselves self prescribe gluten free diets to them uh, what does that mean see now uh, you might have come across this uh, in bodybuilding or fitness that don't eat wheat it has gluten don't eat rice wheat chapati roti because uh, they are going to make you fat uh, if you want to do fat loss stop eating uh, wheat chapati stop eating rice if you want to gain muscle you cannot gain muscle on wheat chapati and rice you have to stop eating them you might have come across these things in bodybuilding by your gym either your gym trainers or internet or whatever see these types of uh, this type of information is false information you gain weight when you eat more calories than you are burning it is not that if you are eating wheat chapati then you will gain weight or if you are eating rice then you will gain weight you can lose weight even eating wheat chapati and rice and uh, same is the case for gaining muscle you can gain muscle by eating them okay uh, and there has been a lot of so so the these sort of misinformation and would lead people to thinking that oh uh, so basically uh, gluten related things are bad for health so i should stop eating gluten related th- things having gluten Uh, so, so and they would see the marketing uh, a lot of packets would come with no gluten gluten free and they would get influenced by those uh, marketing uh, tactics uh, and they'll feel okay gluten is bad for it bad for it. i'll not eat gluten i'll not eat gluten and what they would end up doing is they would without going to a doctor consulting uh, if they have any gluten related issues or anything they would abruptly uh, stop eating gluten rich foods self prescribed medicine to them stop eating gluten rich foods. so when a person who did not have any problem with gluten stops eating gluten then the person can uh, catch the problems where gluten creates problems for the person so uh, basically th- those sort of hypes uh, uh, those sort of rumors spread in bodybuilding and fitness industry ha- uh, can have a really big impact on this disease be- uh, rising these sort of diseases rising <laughs> excuse me and internet uh, uh, has spread in india after 2010 really fast and these diseases in india uh, the number of people uh, being diagnosed with these diseases is increasing in india in the past few years uh, so you have a correlation say you uh, if someone posts that sweet potato is good for bodybuilding then the thing goes viral uh, in fitness or bodybuilding uh, it is really easy to uh, mislead people in bodybuilding and fitness so uh, these sort of information really go viral very quickly uh, and then there is another reason that has been also been uh, 
taken into into consideration that earlier our ancestors used to eat uh, another variety of food uh, another variety of wheat and nowadays we are eating a different uh, variety of uh, wheat they used to eat diploid and we are uh, then uh, they were eating tetraploid now we are eating hexaploid so this change in variety can also be reason for leading gluten related issues now if you do not have any problems any sort of problems uh, health issues then you should, do not need to stop eating gluten first of all if you do so you will uh, your gut gets good bacteria would get negatively impacted there will be rise in bad bacteria of your gut i talked about gut bacteria in my previous video and then after impacting your health you have chances of getting these diseases okay and sometimes what people do is they uh, would think okay bloating abdominal pain diarrhea fatigue these are symptoms of gluten intolerance i have all these symptoms so i must have gluten intolerance see these are common symptoms uh, they they are common to many diseases so if you have any such symptom don't think that you are gluten intolerant go to a doctor get all the checkups done then if the checkups are uh, if the tests are positive then know that you are gluten intolerant uh, uh, otherwise don't think that you are gluten intolerant because you have abdominal pain or you are having diarrhea um, these symptoms are common to many diseases so first make sure that your symptoms are not because of any other disease they are because of gluten and then think about stopping gluten in your diet now whom should stop gluten and when uh, i'll talk about this in detail in my next video uh, i would in I would suggest that you watch the whole series uh, related to gluten videos that I am making. Uh, two or three previous videos I have already made, and I am going to be making a few more videos on gluten and gluten-related issues, and they are necessary for bodybuilding and fitness. So I would recommend that you watch the videos. They are going to be uh, uh, helpful in your health and uh, your family's and friends' health. Uh, if you like the video, please like, comment, and share. And share specifically with your friends and family. It should be helpful to them. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.